What is going on everybody? Tech enthusiast here and in this video I'm going to show you the new update to the unofficial Citra emulator. Now this update allows you to use control pads natively and high res texture support. So binding the control pad is pretty straightforward and I'm going to use the traditional Nintendo layout. Now you can use any control pad that you can connect to your phone. I am using the GameSir G3S control pad. Okay, so this version that I'm using is actually test 4 and it's not the version that is available on GitHub. The one on GitHub does allow you to set up your control pad but the joystick is missing. So I will leave a link in the description of where you can download this version from. Okay, so I'm going to use uh, Mario Kart 7 to show you how well the control pad works. And obviously in the past you were able to use Octopus Controller, but it was a bit iffy to set up. Now remember you have the option to turn down the opacity of the on-screen controller. Okay, so up next is the texture support and there are only a handful of games that have texture support and The Legend of Zelda The Ocarina of Time is one of these games and I'm playing it with the default settings with no textures enabled. Okay, so to get textures working, you will need to go into a file explorer. You can do this either on your phone or on a PC. Go into the Citra directory, go into the load folder, textures, and transfer the files here. Now I'm going to go into one of the folders and you can see there are a ton of images here. So I will leave a link in the description of where you can get the Legend of Zelda texture pack. Now, when we go back into the emulator, go into settings all the way down, tap on texture load hack and use custom textures. And it is as simple as that really. Now that the textures are enabled, you may notice a slight dip in performance and that's because all the textures need to be loaded. Now, since we're using this on a phone, you may not notice it, but if you pay attention, you can see generally that the images are much better. If you take a look at the HUD on the right, you can see that everything is a lot sharper. Thank you. 
So that does it for this quick video. If you have enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, then please do consider subscribing as I have more videos coming up. And also make sure you hit that bell icon so you get notified as soon as I release my videos. Please do follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And like always, thanks for watching and I will catch up with you in the next video.